10 years for a successful event is a task all in itself. Raising over a million dollars is mind-blowing. And all of this, the monies, the snow run, all from two ladies who wanted to make a difference for women fighting their battle with breast cancer. So, in honor of winning the founding women, we're gonna do it Kelly style, and we're gonna dance like no one's watching. <laughs> There are some of you out there that had the privilege of knowing Kelly Shires. In my first few moments of meeting her, I realized she's a spirited, fun, and driven individual with a love for boating and, of course, snowmobiling. In just nine years, the participants have raised over $1.2 million to financially assist the patients in their battles with breast cancer. Well, it, it's quite amazing how the snow run came about. Um, Kelly Shires was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1997, and uh, Kelly and I were really good friends. And when she was diagnosed, she realized that um, other aspects of cancer diagnosis was covered, whether it was um, for psychological or treatment, but there was a real financial barrier for women with breast cancer. And at that time, she said she was going to take her lemons and make lemonade. And we came up with the idea of the snow run. Unfortunately, Kelly uh, lost her battle with breast cancer October 31st, 2004. Uh, but prior to that, we were able to start this fabulous event and raise uh, this money for women with breast cancer to financially support them with their fight um, doing snowmobiling. Give us a smile, baby. There's a lot of cases where people who have cancer can't continue to work. They, they, they don't get you know, full benefits when they're off from work they run into financial trouble. They, they can't pay their rent. They can't afford, afford groceries. They have difficulty paying for simple things like wigs and, and prosthetics. And the money raised through this event goes specifically to help with that. This is not looking for a cure for cancer. There, there's lots of great organizations that do that. And there's a lot of money spent on that. And that's fantastic. This is different. This is raised specifically to help people in their day-to-day -day struggles. So they can focus on getting better. They can focus on their treatment. They can focus on living a good life while they're being treated and while they're recovering. Awesome. Awesome trails, awesome day, awesome cause. <laughs> Everyone is welcome, no matter what your skill level is. Kelly and Susie's vision saw all skill levels participating. And believe me, there is a group for everyone. All you need is a sled a trail pass to be over the age of 18, hand in your pledges and, well, something to fill one of these. I am clearly in the wrong group. Is there an extra small somewhere? <laughs> Wait, I fit! I can run with the owners! Yay! The theme behind the snow run is women helping women. The ride is designed to raise these needed funds in financially assisting women with their fight against breast cancer. Participants are encouraged to raise pledges for the charity. Everything from pledges to raffles, live silent auctions are done to help raise funds for those women who need it. Is there anything better than being out in the trail with a bunch of ladies who like to ride? I don't think so. Whether you've been on a snowmobile once or never or a hundred times, there's a team in this event for you. I mean, we have Team Turtle for Beginners, which I know it's, it's a little bit of a funny name, but um, you know, whether you, you like, you, you could be in Team Turtle. I've been riding for 20 years. You just like to take in the scenery. And then we have another team, one step up from that, we call Team Rock, and that was a team that Kelly used to lead. And then one step up from that is the Dream Team, and that's a team that I normally lead. And then there's the Hooter Haulers, which um, you can imagine by the name, uh, if you blink, you might just miss them on the trail. So, but I mean, all, all around, there's something from whether you've never been on a, a snowmobile to whether you're an experienced rider. And not only whether you're experienced or not, how you enjoy to ride. So there's something for everyone. Lunch is always a good time. Not only do we get some good eats, we get to sit back, relax, and talk to each other. And this time, we've got a first-time participant, a celebrity, and our MC for Saturday night festivities. 
from the very beginning this morning when everybody put their hand up who either knew somebody or was affected by breast cancer themselves and then there was a moment of silence and it was absolutely fantastic. I mean, you couldn't hear a pin drop with so many people that were here and so many snow machines starting up and then shutting down again. There was not a word, not a pin drop and it was it was actually a very emotional moment for me having been a coming up seven year breast cancer survivor and never having met Kelly Sharp. I mean, she's an inspiration. This woman I never met is an inspiration. And the fact that she has created this, not only as her legacy, but as a legacy to so many people who have passed on to breast cancer. What better way to get out with a bunch of women and have a ball on a skidoo? It was just phenomenal. You know, riding with the Hooters today, we've definitely found a couple of perks. We're home first, we're dressed, showered, changed, have a drink in us. Now we get to have some uh, girl time. <laughs> Kim always said that, that the cancer was a blessing and when you sit down in the doctor's office and the doctor tells you or tells your wife that, that she has cancer and you understand how grave it is, at no time at that point do you ever think it's a blessing. It took me a long time to realize that, that the challenge of cancer has the opportunity to make you a better person. It made her a better person, it made her more determined. And I like to think it made me a better person. It makes me volunteer for events like this. This is my ability to help other people, to give back, to see friends that I never would have had without cancer, to participate in an event that I never would have been involved with without cancer. And I think that's made everyone involved with this a better person. It's helped all of us. I had no idea <laughs> what I was missing out on for the past. All the ladies that come have either met friends here or are making new friends. And whether you come alone or in a group, you're going to meet an awesome group of people. You're going to have a tremendous amount of fun. Our theme this weekend is Kelly's favorite saying, dance like nobody's watching. And we hope that the ladies bring out their pink boas and you know their hats and have fun. I've heard a lot of good things about the bra, decorated bra contest. They should expect to have fun, a great time on the trails, and make some good friends and have some amazing memories. How was the day? Sensational. 101 miles, 101% perfect. Absolutely. Although Kelly lost her battle with breast cancer in October of 2004, there's still a huge dedicated base of volunteers that are living her legacy. With over 1,200 participants in the 10 years, over $1.5 million raised, and an average of 200 women helped each year. This is what it's all about. So dance like no one's watching.